really mm. think Goku needed to go that far to beat her. I don't believe. I I feel like Goku was toying, bruh. Cause he had Jiren, he had to fight later on. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> because we're okay. Listen, 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 listen. See, we're talking about manga right now. We're not. We're not talking about anime no more. We're talking about what happened in the manga. And yes, Gohan beat Kefla. But this is the same manga that gave Roshi the ability to dodge Jiren with his little Ultra Instinct sneak previews. <laughs> So take that how you will. <laughs> what you got, Ryan? What do what I you, have? What you got, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> what do I have? Yo. <laughs> I don't know. Yo. I, I, I am I am so lost for words. Literally. Why? Did you hear what he just said? He was toying with Ke dude. Kefla was fucking them up. Goku had no choice. Oh, yeah. You really think? Nah. I hope. I hope people come that, at you for the comments, and I can't save was, you. Was, <laughs> I cannot save you. I cannot I save you. I was just about to say. I was just about to say that that was pretty bold because I'm. I know for a fact, like Goku really was trying. Like he got pressed. You know, he got I don't believe, but but Kefla. here's what I'm saying. I don't believe that Goku necessarily needed to go Ultra Instinct to actually beat Kaifu. Oh no. I be I believe he could have just went blue Kaioken fucking finish the job. Oh, easy. but I'm pretty sure he tried that uh Mr. Lethal brother. I H. I know this, but uh, shit. Are, you, are you sure? You know, you know he used her he used her to even transform into fucking Ultra Instinct again cuz she I guess pushed him to the limits. But right. nigga was tired! Nigga was tired facing her already, bruh! So then, where's the part that you're saying that, oh yeah, all he had to do was just flip the switch? What do oh, you mean? Yeah. Well, nah, he's... <clears throat> I get it now, because with the whole thing of he's tired, he's saying that, you know, like, he could have washed her, but he was already exhausted from using Ultra Instinct once, fighting all these other niggas twice, using Blue Kaioken times 20 a few like, times. You got, so, yo, like, you gotta... All right, look at it at HP. Like, look at I, I it at see, HP I see where he's form. coming from, but it's still bold. It's, it's still bullshit. way too bold. To, it's, it's still way bullshit. too bold for me to agree all right, with. Look. But I see where he's coming from now. Look. Kefla's <laughs> HP bar. The I'm whole fucking, the whole screen. <laughs> Goku's HP bar is my fucking, the width of my fucking face. And that's, that's how much power, that's how much HP nigga got left. And he's fucking, bars, and he still son. did it. The and, then, and then look, and then look, <laughs> once he gets right here, because Kefla's really, I guess, pushing him to the limit, then he gets the Ultra Instinct bar. And he's back. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, Kefla, you know. Like, bro, oh it's that goodness. simple, bro. That means Vegeta's if, ego bar would be like going down, going down, and then right when it's at its lowest, it's just gonna start going back up. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> it's like incremental, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, I ain't giving Kefla the pass. Bro. So, okay, okay. So nah, now chill, with chill, Kai's chill. explanation, <laughs> you're saying that if it was a regular ass, they started from zero fight, Goku would have been able to handle Kefla. Without at Ultra least in, at, yeah, without Ultra, at least in blue, blue Kyle Ken. That's all. That's, that's that's as far as I will go, if he actually needed to to get the. Okay, push. you know what? I will give that shit to you just because it's Goku, and because he's the more experienced fighter at the end of exactly. the day. Exactly. <clears throat> that's wait, that's wait, wait, what wait. I'm saying. I I I kind of wanna. I don't know because that's tough. Because are we talking like? <clears throat> pre-tournament of power or post and the I i'm not talking about with new forms and everything i'm only saying because if we're taking them out of the setting and putting them in a fight then i think the tournament matters because the tournament is where he unlocked ultra instinct in the first place so if he didn't have it if he didn't touch it once already do you think kefla would have been enough to put him in there for the first time or would it not have happened you know what i mean like well I think, and as time will tell you millions of times over, whenever Goku, especially Goku, is put into a fucking predicament. That's not, that's not the point here, though. The point is, is Kefla enough to put him in that spot? 
Yeah. If they were fresh, if they I were fresh. Th that's what I'm trying to say. Is that if both were fresh? They are okay. So Kale and Califla. I can't believe we're fucking talking about this all, now. Kale and fucking Califla are literally as they are, right? Califla being like the talented one. She's like she showed us that she learns quick, like how any other fucking monkey would, right? Monkey see, monkey do. The Saiyans are OD. They're 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 crazy, right? We also see how Kale is Broly. Straight up. She is the female fucking Broly. So take both of those characters now with their potential and combine them. And we already know how fusion works. When a new person is born from that fusion, they're they're way stronger. Way stronger than how they originally are individually. That's how Gogeta was able to even fucking outdo Broly in that movie. So when it comes down to this, absolutely, that overwhelming amount of power would absolutely have pushed Goku to do and unlock whatever he needed at that point in time. Simple as that. Like, he's not... he. Like it, he would have struggled, like he does with everybody else. But, right. But he. But this is this is this is the same Goku, no difference. Like he he would have had to he he would have had to have been like like them individually. I would have definitely have been more on their side if they had more experience going in, like already. You know what I'm saying? Like under their belts. Which, as far as we know, they really didn't. They didn't know how to do... They didn't know about Super Saiyan and none of that shit. They fucking learned all... They had the crash course right then and there. Same with Kaba. Right then and there. Like That's a good point, too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are... They have the talent. They're young. I, I would consider them a part of, like, that that that, that future generation of Saiyans. Like, like, kind of along the lines of Goten and Trunks, low-key. Because even yeah, in I Z... Monkey see, monkey do applied there to them too. They saw Goku do Super Saiyan 3 one time. And they managed to fucking do it together. As mm. Dude, Goten go go be slept on. Think of all the moves he came up with by himself. My man out here dunking donuts, son. Galactic. Right. You know, of course. <laughs> He's playing volleyball on hoes. Like, he, Gotenks <laughs> is chilling. You know, Gotenks right. is... Listen, Gotenks... <clears throat> was always one of my favorite characters oh easily uh, yeah. Yeah. easily he he came Easy. with the attitude the swag he was listen we saw him with the vest right what what like what was it before gogeta before, right before before come on now he's the og he's you know what's crazy you know what's Yo. great? Go, go tanks could have had a dub on boo oh uh, they wouldn't even have needed to go on oh just great, saying. great, say, great, great transition to come back to Gohan. Oh, that's that good shit.